All right, you're good. Hi, I'm Alexina. Um, I'm in 241, and I missed last meeting because it was Yom Kippur, but I'm here now. Um, I'm running for PR chair because I have a lot of experience promoting events, uh, especially computer science and STEM-related things. Um, some things that, some major examples, uh, in high school I was president of French Honor Society, and I organized and came up with a language day event, which was school-wide um, and involved all of the language departments. It was huge, and we made a ton of money. Um, I was also president of Computer Science Club, and we held an hour of code event, which lasted for two days, and we reached capacity on both days where we taught um, basic programming to people who might not have considered programming before uh, to get them interested in it. Uh, I was also head of technical writing for my robotics team, and we came in second in technical writing in all of Southeast Asia, because I was in Singapore. Um, and for that, I had to be able to communicate with professionals, um, as well as the general public, uh, being able to communicate more technical things to them in a way that they would understand. Um, so I'm very good at that. And I've had a lot of experience through those things, uh, using videos, posters, a ton of buttons for robotics. Um, to promote these events. Um, so yeah, I hope to dedicate the next four years to helping this club grow. Thanks. Good job. I, uh, can, can you repeat the question? Just, <laughs> want, we're gonna have like 35 people okay. voting. So. Sorry about that. It's all good. Okay, so my you question was, could you elaborate on your specific like photo and video experience? Yeah, um, yeah. It's okay. I have experience with um, iMovie and Windows Movie Maker for photo, uh, for video, and then for photos, I have experience with um, InDesign and Photoshop. Um, I have a question as well. Do you have any specific plans for um, uh, PR strategies for the club? Um, it would really depend on what we decide to do as a club, so mm -hmm. on the individual events. Okay. Thank you. I'm just going to leave it rolling. Cool. Yeah, good. Pretty good. It doesn't, okay. It's halfway right now. It's halfway right Yeah. There's a quarter here. Okay. 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 Your tie, right? Yeah. That leaves just Aaron. So just Yeah, I'm gonna start the timer just a moment. Hi guys, my name is Aaron Sawyer. I'm a junior. I'm not currently enrolled in any classes because you know, four hundred levels and all that fun stuff. But I'm really passionate about this club, and I really, really want us to make an impact so that we can last beyond like a couple semesters. And I feel like PR chair is really key to that. So I want to do a couple of things to sort of make people interested in us, even if they aren't necessarily members. So I feel like we could put on a few low-key events, like maybe like a computer science documentary night, or like something like even more low-key than that, like the social network or something like that. Just something to get people to come and meet us and know that we're a presence on campus. Um, I also want to definitely start focusing on the big campus events where we can reach a lot of people, like the student activities night at the beginning of the year or the um, admitted students day. So getting presentations together for things like that so that freshmen starting out know that we're here and that we can be a resource to them. So I think one of like the smallest, smallest things we could do that people might be interested in is like start something like a sticker with a logo on it so that you guys can like put it on your laptop so that people will see that and be like, hey, what is this? I don't know that this is a thing. And we can explain that to them. And then maybe we can, as we get more interest, as we get more funds, we can go to like t-shirts or something more. Basically, I just really want to improve visibility on campus and make sure everyone knows that we're here. So I guess, any questions? Same question. Do you have any experience advertising for like large events? Um, I was part of my honor fraternity's rush committee, so I helped a lot with like getting word out about that and getting flyers out and all that fun stuff. So maybe incorporate like 
an event flyer campaign for like Ada Lovelace Day or something like that. Cool. I guess I'm done. Thank you very much. Okay, so we're going to, you can turn the camera off. We're going to go ahead and hold elections for... We are now. Um, my internship was mostly web-based on like the back-end API end. I worked at Gannett, which owns USA Today, so I got a lot of experience with like testing the back-end of websites and all of that stuff. But I also, over this summer and a little bit of this fall, I created my own website. So I made the choice to like build it on like a little Linux server somewhere in New York, which was difficult, but I think it gave me a lot of experience and yeah. So that's about it. What's your preferred platform for web design? Um, like Rails or? Uh, I know more JavaScript than anything. Okay, so. cool. Maurice? Uh, so do you have any thoughts and plans for this website? You're not um, just going to use Google Sites. Okay? Yeah, no, definitely not. Um, as far as like the website goes, like I want to build it up from scratch and like as far as like design goes, like something along the lines of, I don't know if you've seen like UVA's ACM website or MIT's ACM website, but they're both like very nice, very user friendly. So I want to focus on like making it attractive to people, making people want to come and look at it and also like making it easily modifiable from the ground up because like so many websites just get dumped. You can go through the entire like William and Mary organization list and see all these dead websites if you're interested. very much. Hmm? Um, if we don't... You good? Good. Okay. Hey guys, I'm Yuli. Um, Ulysses. I'm a senior here at the college studying computer science and international relations. Um, I've been doing hackathons for about a year now. Um, I participated in both um, as a participant and a hacker but also as a judge and a mentor. Um, my first hackathon, went with a bunch of uh, seniors, and um, they really helped me out. They taught me what it meant to be at a hackathon, what it meant to go and learn about you know, stacks I'd never even heard of. First time I went to the hackathon, I didn't even know what a stack was. Um, but yeah, things have changed. I've gotten great relationships out of it, and I want to help ACM, everyone here, um, have that same experience, have those opportunities to join a hackathon and go and participate. Any questions? Yeah. Uh, what hackathons are you attending uh, for us that are fun to attend? Sorry, what's that? Uh, which hackathons specifically do you want us to attend? Sure. Well, there's a lot of hackathons. And the thing about hackathons is that um, sometimes there's travel. Uh, subsidy, sometimes there's not. Uh, there's a few hackathons in Virginia, um, and then you have college, collegiate hackathons, where you have hackathons that are hosted at a business. Um, honestly, I'm going to populate a list, and there's actually a lot of lists online about hackathons, and then see where the interest is. Some of the, 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 the ones that are close around here are UVA, I believe VT has a hackathon as well. But most of them are going to be in the northeast. Um, just a couple down south as well. So it just depends on the schedule. If we got the running, if there's travel subsidy, if we're going to subsidize, these things going to subsidize. So there's a lot of factors, but yeah, definitely there's going to be a list. Thank you very much. Hey, I'm Moffin and I. I'm a freshman at this college. First thing I want to say is you vote for me. You get a young and spry, you know, individual that still has a lot of faith in this world, so you'll get some <laughs> solid optimism. Um, I've never actually been to a hackathon because we didn't really have many at my high school and my parents didn't want to drive me out to like actually go attend any hackathons, but I would really like to attend one. Um, I'm fairly good with logistics. I was I created the 
um, programming club at my high school and I was the president of it. I was the treasurer of my class and we held a lot of fundraisers and stuff so I know how to work out logistics and deal with travel and make sure everyone gets on the bus and whatnot. Um, I thought it would be really cool if we could attend some big hackathons, you know, not just within William Murray, but within the state or maybe even, you know, go to some cool conferences out of state. I don't know which ones. Um, I also have a fair amount of experience um, coding big projects in a short amount of time with uh, pretty solid deadlines. So, does anyone have any questions? Thank you very much, Alton. Thank you. You can cut the camera. Yep. <laughs>